Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Techno Sage. So in this lead code series, today we'll be solving problem number two five eight six. That is, count the number of vowel strings in range. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. You are given a zero indexed array of string words and two integers left and right. So in the example, you can see we have been given one array of string words. and then we have two integers left and right so we need to check which strings are vowel strings so now let's understand what is vowel string if it starts with a vowel character and ends with a vowel character then that particular string is vowel string so in the example you can see a r e so it is starting with a and ends with e a e both are vowel strings so that means this is a vowel string similarly This is starting with a and ends with y. Y is not a vowel string, so that means this is not a vowel string. And then we have u. U is itself a vowel, so that means this is also a vowel string. So that means we have two vowel strings, so we need to return two. So let's understand how we are going to solve this problem. So let's take the same strings. We have r, we have m e, and we have u, right? and we have to find which strings are vowel strings so first you need to know what are vowel characters that is a e i o and u so that means any particular string which starts with any of these characters and also ends with any of these characters then we can say it is a vowel string so basically what we are going to do let's take one variable to store the count of vowel strings so we'll initialize it as 0 now we will traverse through the string array and for each particular string we are going to check whether that is a vowel string so to check each string what we are going to do we'll take two variables one is start and another one is end right and in start we'll be saving the start character for example in the first string our start character is a and end character is e so we are going to write two conditions one is for start character that means if start is equal to either character a or character e or character i or character o or character u any of these characters then we are going to check for the end character similarly if end is also a e i o or u that means if it satisfies both the conditions start is also a vowel character and end is also a vowel character then we are going to increase the count right so in the example one start is a end is e so so the first time when condition is true count becomes one right then move to the next string now start character is a but end character is y so a is a vowel that is true but end is not a vowel so we are not going to increase the count then move on to the next string that is u so in this case start is also u and end is also u right so both are vowels so in that case we are going to increase the count right so at the end we have found as the count as 2 so the output would be 2 right So this is how we are going to solve this problem. Now let's move ahead and let's write the solution for it. So this is our class that is count number of vowel strings in a range. Now let's write the method for it. That would be public static int vowel strings and it would expect three inputs. That would be words array and two integers. That would be left and right. so left and right are basically the range in which we are finding the vowel strings right so now let's take one variable to save the count and initialize it as 0 so then let's write our loop so that would start from the left index less than equals to right index i plus plus and then we are going to check for our start and end index let's take the start as s so it would be words at i dot caret 0 right because we are taking the first character 
and what would be the last character that would be words at i dot caret words dot length minus 1 correct and then let's write our conditions the first one would be if start character starts with any of the vowels that is a or e or i o u right if yes then we are going to check for the end character as well that would be if end starts with character a or character e or character i or character o or u then we are going to increase the count right and then at the end we can return count right now let's go back to our main function and let's take the inputs words array which has words r m e and u right and the left index is 0 and right index is 2 let's write our print statement system dot out dot print ln and let's call our function that is vowel strings words left right so let's run the program and see the output okay so we can see here it is saying index 2 out of bounds for length 1 let's check what is the mistake start end so we can see here that end index it should be words at i dot length minus 1 right so now let's run the program and see the output so we can see here the output is 2 right let's test it with another example as well so let me copy this input left is 1 and right is 4 left is 1 right is Four. Let's run the program and see the output. We can see here the output is 3. So here also you can see output is 3. Right. So this is how we need to solve this problem. Now let's go back to our lead code and test it. So you can see here that I have already copied the code here. Let's run the program and see the output. So it is accepted and runtime is 0 milliseconds. So you can submit the code. It is submitted successfully. So if you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you for watching.